This week's portion is Va'et Hanan, the second in the book of Devarim, the book of Deuteronomy. And last Shabbat, I had the opportunity with my wife to be at Camp Ramah in New England, where two of my children are for the summer. My oldest is in charge of the group of children with special needs, known as the Amitzim group, the courageous ones, part of the Tikva program at Camp Ramah. And my youngest is in his last summer as a camper and is spending the whole summer as a camper with his friends. So it was, it's always a wonderful opportunity to see my children in action at Camp Ramah and to see the beautiful community and sense of friendship that builds over the course of the summer and how a living and breathing Jewish environment can exist uh, in such a way that is filled with such excitement and enthusiasm. It, it really is a wonderful experience. My oldest daughter asked me to give the Devar Torah at services for the Tikva program, the Amitzim kids, this past Shabbat, and I said the following to talk about uh, how we can understand the whole book of Devarim, the whole book of Deuteronomy, uh, just as this week's portion, Va'etchanan, is one in a series of understanding the context for Deuteronomy. Moses is uh, saying farewell to the people of Israel on the other side of the Jordan River, on the eastern side, and he knows he can't lead them into the land of Israel. So what is he going to say, and how does he say it? And I had the, the, the Tikva campers imagine uh, being at a pep rally, that uh, the coach tries to inspire his or her players in, and motivate them in such a way to understand what it means to be part of a community, what it means to be part of a team, and that team players have to rely on one another, Team players have to understand the history of the team and understand uh, the pride in which, for which the team is playing and to motivate them as well to, um, to always be fighting and competing fairly for the future. And in some ways, that is how Moses uh, talks to the community of Israel, by having them... Uh, reinforce the idea that they are a community, to have them remember their history, and to have them uh, mo be motivated to observe and be part of the covenant. This week's portion has two reminders that adds to this motivational speech. One is the Shema, the Shema Yisrael, that line that is uh, central to being Jewish is found in this week's portion, and also the summary uh, and reiteration of the Ten Commandments is found this week as well. And so we we can we can picture Moses with the people of Israel motivating the people to have them understand that yes, they can go forward into the Promised Land without Moses and with their new leader. Shabbat Shalom.